Though I have owned both hatchery and valuable show quality barred floaty thruck lines through a series of unfortunate incidents, I was forced at one point to use a breeding male to continue my lines who possessed only one bar in Jake. Sire was my Delaware rooster over show quality Marvin Stuckel barred hen. That male was the sire of my now six-year-old Atlas with one of those same superior barred hens. The late famous breeder, author of Rob Blosel, personally gave me the formula on how to breed back up from what I had originally had using my Delaware rooster, but that ended in a brick wall because that male introduced a dwarf chain. Story for another time. Um, normal barred rock males or Cuckoo Marin or Dominiques carry two copies of the barring gene. They pass a copy to every single chick, while a male who carries only one copy will pass only about half the chicks he produces. Barred hens carry only one copy, which is why they are much darker than the males. Any bird carrying a barring gene will show the trait in some way it really cannot be fully hidden. Sex-linked hybrid roosters carry only one barring gene because they're created from a solid-colored male over a barred female. Barred hens pass the barring gene only to sons, never daughters. So a black sex-linked male will have a spot on the head, an indication of the barring gene, while a black sex-linked pullet chick will have no spot. They can be sexed and hatched. And a black sex-linked male looks like a badly barred barred rock rooster, while the hen is a solid black, maybe with some white penciling around the throat area. A barred male that carries only one barred gene, when crossed to a barred female, will produce about 25% barred cockerels. Half of those barred cockerels will be single barred. The other half will have a double barred gene, like Atlas, and then there will be some barred and some solid colored pullets, like Atlas's four sisters, which were two of each. Taking a barred male with one barring gene and crossing it to a solid colored female, the opposite of a black sex link formula will produce 25% barred males with one barring gene, like Deacon, shown in the photos, um, who was also sired by my Delaware rooster. He is the brother of Rex, with a different, just for a different mother. As barred rock roosters, sadly, <laughs> misrepresented. Not every rooster with barring is a black sex link, and certainly not every rooster with barring is a barred plymouth rock. Signs that a bar rooster is not a pure barred rock, lots of silver in the hackles like you see on Rex, and saddle feathers are silvery, um, and some of them are like his half-brother Deacon, who also has some solid black feathers in the tail. He, might have, he has some red and some gold showing. The barring is always irregular. A sign that a barred female is not pure barred rock are about the same, just too much white on the head, maybe under the throat, irregular or ghosty barring, like Atlas's sisters Rowena and Delia. A solid black hen like Wendy, Atlas's sister, can be mostly barred rock, but not show that at all. By looking, you'd never know her lineage, Wendy solid black, because she did not inherit the barring gene from her single barred sire. She missed that boat, and she couldn't inherit from her barred mother, who only gives to her sons. So that is a crash course in single barred genetics. Um, I could go on for an hour, but that would be too long. I uh, hope you enjoyed and understand some of it. You can post some questions below, and in the description box, there will be some more information.